me bring you the groceries? Oh, oh, is those the groceries for my cooking? There's some stuff in there, yeah. Go ahead and get some. Yeah. Bring it all in and then we'll go through it, okay? Okay. Come on, bring it all in. What is up guys? Welcome to today's vlog. I just got a Walmart grocery delivery haul for you guys today. Um, I haven't done one of these in a really long time. I used to do them all the time, but life is just so crazy right now. And I don't, I'm not going to Costco and getting these massive hauls, so it's not that interesting. But I will show you what I got. Remember, we are moving. So this is just a small haul uh, for the week. I did get some extra meats and things, but we do have like pantry staples, like pastas and things and frozen vegetables in the freezer. So I just wanted to get like the fresh stuff. I got milk. Oh, I forgot cheese. I got milk, popsicles, meats, vegetables, eggs, other things like that. So let me show you what I got. The stuff that I got this time will last us about a week and a half or so, except for the meat. I got a little extra meat because we were running out. I love chicken thighs, so I love putting these in the oven for barbecue chicken or grilling them. I also make adobo every couple weeks, which is a Filipino um, dish that we have over rice. So um, these will come in handy and I like slicing them up and making stir fries. I can make so many things with just having chicken thighs on hand. Um, Ace is going to be making dinner tonight and he wanted to make ground turkey um, lettuce wraps. They're so good, the kids love them. So he's gonna be cooking that tonight. Hopefully I'll film it so you guys can see. I got some ground beef here, which is I usually split it in half and I'll do half in a pasta and half some other way. And hoisin sauce because we have ours is packed. So I bought this so that Ace can make his lettuce wraps. We needed some olive oil, a couple tomatoes. I think I asked for like 10, so not sure why they only gave me two. I wanted to try these. These looked really good. These um, artisan crafted white cheddar and black pepper mac and cheese, kind of like an adult mac and cheese type of thing. I got two because you know, my kids eat a lot and I thought I'd add some vegetables or meat, maybe some ground beef to it or sausage or something. Fresh spinach, because I love this with my, my eggs in the morning for breakfast. These are my favorite, these sweet gems. These are what we're gonna make our lettuce wraps with. They're like a perfect bite size to stuff with the yummy Korean style type of um, lettuce wraps we're gonna be making. Two gallons of milk, we go through lots of milk. Another thing of um, cereal, we have a couple, but we go through cereal like crazy. I got these because um, I wanted to make some salads this week with the chicken, but also as an alternative if we run out of these to make like bigger ones, but I'm really disappointed. Look how like, you know, damaged it is. It's pink. So I know, hopefully I can salvage some pieces. I'm kind of disappointed in that. Eggs, because we go through eggs like crazy. Let me check them. Yeah, good to go. Um, I got some popsicles. I'm going to throw these in. These sugar-free ones are so good. I'm going to throw those in the freezer. Two loaves of bread for sandwiches for um, peanut, bean, peanut butter and jelly or turkey and cheese, salami and cheese. I also make grilled cheese with those. And then I got three packages of um, broccoli flowerettes. I've just been buying broccoli frozen lately. We have a bunch of vegetables, but I'm going to rotate them and put these in. This is not a large grocery haul because I'm just buying weekly at a time right now because we only have a couple weeks left in this house and I don't want to go overboard with pantry items and things so I'm just kind of buying fresh things and eating them up right away and I'll probably do one last grocery haul next week. I did get um, I did get a Costco delivery today which was just some like paper plates and bowls and things um, because all of our dishes are packed away so I got some of those. And then I did get a big thing of dog food for Kaya. I figure we have one of those dog food vault saber, fresh saber things. So I just filled it up and then the movers can move that. That's fine. We were running out and I couldn't wait two weeks until we moved. So that's what we got on our grocery haul.
Oh, over here, I almost forgot, we do have some cold brew coffee. I should have got two of these, but, oh, I think the uh, reason why is because there was only one that was unsweetened, but I love um, this every single morning. I have not been drinking hot coffee at all. Um, I did get some great value, just, you know, store brand yogurts um, because the kids love these with fresh fruit or granola on top and they also like them frozen as well. So it's just kind of a nice treat. Quick break. I had to edit this in. I'm editing right now and I forgot to mention something super important. My best friend, Tiffany, she is also a YouTuber, Tiffany Day. I'll put her information below if you wanna check her out. She is actually in the running for the Maxim cover model of 2020 and I really want her to win because she deserves it and she is representing women that are not perfect everywhere. She is a mama of two, she's got stretch marks and I really want this type of woman to be on the cover of Maxim 2020. So I'd really appreciate your guys' votes. Please vote for Tiffany today, right now, because time is running out. I forget when the cutoff is, but it's coming up in the next day or two. So please take a moment to vote for her right now. I'll put the link below. I would really appreciate it. And in the comments below, please let me know if you voted for her by putting voted in the comments. Thank you so much. Please vote for Tiffany. We want someone that is not perfect to be on the cover and she's really representing all moms around the world by having her be on the cover. So please vote for Tiffany and let me know when you did. All right, back to the vlog. I highly suggest getting unlimited Walmart grocery delivery if you have in your area or Safeway or at something else. This is not sponsored. It really is a game changer for meal prepping and things like that. So if you guys wanna try it, I only pay $12 a month in my area for unlimited grocery delivery. Even if I just need like a gallon of milk, they will deliver it for me included in that $12 a month. So I will put a link down below here if you guys wanna check it out. It has really made life a lot easier, especially with trying to save money and meal planning and being smart about what you're purchasing and things. Kaya, Kaya, hey, what are you doing? Where are you going? Oh my gosh, she is on a roll today. Kids are swimming. Polly's not on my feet. Okay. No running, please. So yeah, that is our grocery haul. Nothing fancy, nothing special, but if you guys are interested in Walmart delivery, make sure you check out the link below. And we're gonna go about our day. I'm gonna fix a snack, because I'm kinda hungry. Feels like an ocean.